it's Nicole Scott. Welcome back to the vlog channel. In my last vlog, I revealed to you guys that I got a new <gasps> baby. A new member of the Skies family. <gasps> this little Maka. Oh, she's so cute. Oh. In this video today, I am going to be doing a gender reveal because we got the DNA test back. We are going to be revealing the gender. And then I also <sighs> want to talk to you guys a little bit about why I decided to get a macaw and give you a little bit of information about her and her personality. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. So first, we'll talk about why I decided to get a macaw or a parrot in general and why I finally got one and we'll just talk, okay? So let's talk really quick. A lot of you guys followed me along the journey of me rescuing a baby sparrow, hand feeding it, and then basically releasing it back into the wild, kind of, you know? The sparrow itself decided that it was time to, to be wild and I respected that. So after my burly girl left, I was so sad and I missed her so much and it was just a really sad day. So I actually looked into getting a parrot. Uh, before we had a house, we went to like a parrot store and we walked around. They had a bunch of different parrots and different breeds just like chilling on the stands and like. And I got to pet them and touch them and hold them and there was one that I really loved. It was a red fronted macaw and oh my gosh, it fell in love with me. They were like, whoa, this macaw loves you and I like almost got it. But I was like, you know, I don't have a house. I don't feel like I'm ready to get a bird, so we ended up waiting on it, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna kinda wait until I get a house, and I'm like, settled down. I ended up getting a house and getting settled, and now I have this little birdie right here. So I just wanna get this out here in the beginning before you know any of you guys get inspired to get like a macaw or a parrot. I wouldn't advise it unless you have experience with birds. They're into everything. They love to be with you and outside of their cage. Engaged and not caged, that's what I believe in, you know? <laughs> They're a very, very high maintenance pet and they live a long time and they also are very noisy and they'll, they'll chew anything they can get their hands on, especially wood, so just letting you know that right now. And they also poop everywhere. I don't know as of yet if I'm going to clip her wings. See that, hello, hello. We already taught her one word. And I'm teaching her I love you right now. I don't know as of yet if I'm gonna clip her wings. Right now she can fly around and she flies to me. Um, only reason why I'd wanna clip her wings is because there's another bird YouTuber on YouTube that actually lost her bird um, named Picasso. And that actually scares me. I would never want her to fly away and not be able to get home. Right now I am teaching her like how to fly and the skills to fly. And then I guess I'll make that decision later on if I'm going to clip her wings or not, I don't know. It's a touchy subject. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about her personality. She is such a love bug. She loves to cuddle. She makes crazy noises. Obviously there's certain parts of the bird that you shouldn't touch. You shouldn't touch their back. You shouldn't touch their vent. You really shouldn't touch their belly. She does this, watch. You wanna be silly? She's in a silly mood right now. She loves any type of food. She, she will eat anything. She'll eat pineapple, um, bananas. She loves bananas. Those are her favorite food. Literally anything, she'll try to eat it. She just loves eating food. I also give her these little date things and she absolutely loves them. She is a great eater as of right now, which is a good thing. She loves to eat. And yeah, we don't know if she's a girl or a boy, so we will be doing her gender reveal very soon. She's not even eating, she's tearing it apart and then dropping it on the floor. So right now it is dinner time for the kittens and the dogs. Not for the bird. The reason why I got a large bird was because I did have cats and I didn't want the bird to be possibly prey for the cats. And let me tell you, this bird will definitely defend herself very well. All right, well, do you wanna, do, you wanna do that, all right? Uh, but yeah, no one really bothers the macaw. She's feisty, feisty is all I can say. Feisty! No one wants to mess with that beak. Also, I have an announcement. I am switching the dogs to a raw food diet. So right now we are working our way 
to raw food. I think raw food will help with Frankly's allergies. Actually, someone mentioned it to me in a comment. I was recently talking with the chiropractor. Actually, this is what the chiropractor did. He readjusted all of our necks. Listen to this, it was crazy. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know that a chiropractor could do that. That was insane. Like literally, I'm gonna go to a chiropractor now and get my back readjusted. I think it's awesome. But yeah, he was talking about the benefits about raw dog food and how to do it. Um, if you guys have any tips, if you feed your dogs raw dog food, I would love to know. Right now, I am feeding the dogs grass-fed ground beef patties. I know when they're on a full raw diet, they're gonna need bones and, and some vegetables and whatever. I still need to do um, a lot of research about that. But yeah, I would love to know some tips and tricks if you guys are on raw food as well. All right, Sky Squad, now it is time, as you can see behind me. Check out these decorations. Is it a girl or a boy? And then we have some balloons over here that says, girl or boy? I wanna know in the comments down below, do you think that this bird is a boy or a girl? What are your guesses? All right, Sky's family, is it a girl or is it a boy? My guess, I don't know. I think it might be a boy, but then again, I think it might be a girl. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's a girl and not a boy. But I think, I think it might be a boy. I don't know, I have no idea. Babe, do you think that it is a girl or a boy? I think it's a boy. Jay, boy. Jay's team boy. Team boy. Jay's team boy, I'm team girl. Let me know in the comments down below what you are if you're team girl or boy. Oh, what a cutie pie. Mm. Underneath this blanket is the gender reveal. We are going to be removing the blanket and the color of the balloon will let us know if it's a girl or a boy. Oh my gosh, give this video a big thumbs up if you're super excited for this because this is gonna be super awesome. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh my gosh, I really hope that it's a girl. Ah! We are going to remove the blanket in three, two, one! Team boy, one. team boy in the comments below, team boy! Oh! It's a girl! Oh my gosh. Alright, now we're gonna pretend like it's a real baby. Are you ready? Oh, it's a girl. Give me a kiss. Oh my God. <laughs> but she's a girl. You're not pretending that's a real baby. She is a real baby. She's our real baby. <gasps> so you guys, I was calling her Amelia originally, and that means that I get to keep her name, Amelia. Hello, Amelia. You're a baby girl. What a cute baby. Little Amelia. I'm so glad I named you a girl name and not a boy name. It's a girl. Yay. Yeah, it's a baby girl. Alright guys family, I hope you enjoyed this little fun gender reveal. Uh. I will catch you guys in my next vlog. Bye!